Hi folks, Mr. Preston here and just a very quick video on how to start creating your own database in the Purple Mash online. So once you've logged into Purple Mash, you'll come up to this main screen where you've got lots and lots of different options. The one we want to go to is Tools, so we click on that and it brings up lots and lots of different apps we can use. The one we're interested in is in the Maths and Data Handling section, so we need to go over to there and find to investigate and if I hover over it it quickly tells me what to investigate is about so I can create databases excellent that's what I want so I press it and we want to create our own so the top button there to investigate click on that and launch app once it's loaded up we want to create our own database from scratch using the fields we've created in order to complete our records so press blank and press choose. Immediately you'll see that it brings up this data design box and this is where we put in all our fields. Now remember a field is a piece of information that we can get off someone and when we combine it all together on that one person it creates our record. So my first field is going to be name. If I'm doing it for children in year four the first thing I might want to know is their name and here I have the choice of letter or number. Obviously a name has letters so the type of field is letters. I'll press OK. And when I come to add new field this time I want to know the child's age. So age we write that in numbers don't we so type of field instead of letters this time I need numbers and that will just allow the person inputting the data to only type numbers in there because we don't want to put letters in someone's age do we? We just want the numbers so numbers and OK. The next one and this might be useful if I'm collecting information on birthdays birthday month so this is the month they were born now we could either do numbers if we know the number equivalent of months but I'm going to stick with letters. Now here I want to use the answer list because if I get children to input the data using um, letters and they misspell one of the months that could cause big problems when I come to search for my data if my spelling on the search term is different to what's been inputted I may miss them out I may not get them as a search record so use answer list and this just allows me to type in all the months of the year January oh, February March and so on I won't type them all in now but what this allows you to do when you come to input your data and create your record when you come to birthday month instead of you having to type in lots of months you simply click that click the drop down box and you select the month that you want to select for that person's birthday so press OK and the last one will be favorite lesson and again you could do letters, you could give an answer list so this eliminates any spelling errors when searching your criteria and I'll press OK and done. So once we've created our record with com um, comprising of our fields we need to actually fill out a record and that is used and that is done by pressing the top button there, the add record button so we press that, the big blue plus and now you will see here it will bring up all the fields we have just created so name my name is Mr Preston my age I'm 31 and if you look at the birthday month I can't actually type anything in there but I can only select the options already there and going back to age it won't let me type any letters I don't know if you can hear my key keyboard but I'm trying to type some letters in there and it's not working so it limits me just to numbers and my favorite lesson oh I'm going to have to say history. So data name here, this is the name of the data so it's Mr Preston and if I press OK you will see there that Mr Preston has popped up. I can then carry on by going to my next record so press add record and type in my next record so if I was doing Miss Holding for example, Miss Holding is her name, I'm not going to type her age in she was also born in January and I reckon her her favourite lesson is also history 
and as you can see now our second piece of data has been inputted our second record is now complete and that is how you create records using fields and starting to input data into your database.